Thank you very much. I'm Scott Williams, 2454 Clearbrook Circle, Village of Howard, District 23. Um, I'd like to address you briefly on a completely different subject. I'd like to uh, make a request that pertains to the official meetings of county board minutes. Uh, bear with me, I'll be brief. Um, I was not able to be here for the uh, April 19th county board meeting. I just couldn't get down here for the meeting. You're gonna have the minutes of these minutes in uh, this meeting in front of you in just a few minutes. I'd like to ask you to send the minutes back to the staff to be corrected. I hope you all have taken a minute to look at them. I have. Um, I wasn't able to be at the meeting, so I waited for these minutes to become available because I wanted to see how the deliberations went on two very specific issues that were of interest to me. The uh, appointment of the new public works director and that $200,000 no bid sweetheart deal that you approved for Bell and Health. I was a little surprised when the minutes became available and they showed that both of these matters were decided with virtually no debate or deliberations whatsoever. It looked like barely a word was said by anyone in this room on either one of those issues. Just, uh, you know, all in favor say aye, boom, done. That didn't really sound right to me, so I was able to get my hands on a video of that April 19th county board meeting. All two hours of the meeting, the video was unedited. And those of you who were here no doubt are aware of this. There was considerable discussion on both of these matters, debate back and forth, supervisors taking positions, advancing arguments in some cases. Some of you uh, offered alternative resolu resolutions and those were discussed. On the public works de director position, probably a dozen or more supervisors spoke out. The debate went on, it seemed, for 20 or 30 minutes. None of that is reflected in the minutes of the meeting. On the Bell and Health sweetheart deal, again, there were supervisors here who raised questions, offered comments. The subject came up again later in the meeting when you were considering the related day reporting center initiative. A staff member from the county even stepped forward to offer input on why Bell and Health was getting this contract without any competitive bidding and was the same thing gonna happen with the day reporting center. Again, none of this is in the minutes. Take a look at them. You're gonna be asked to vote on them in a few minutes. When I asked the county clerk's office, they told me all we're required to do is in the minutes is to record the action that's taken at the end of each debate. Is that really the best we can do uh, in achieving public uh, transparency and accountability when it comes to county board minutes, county board uh, conducting public business? I'm not suggesting that the staff needs to uh, transcribe every word of every meeting verbatim. I know that's not required or even realistic. But in preparing the minutes from the April 19th meeting, someone saw fit to very meticulously include every supervisor here who took time to thank his or her voters in the election. Every supervisor who took time to congratulate others in the room and pat each other on the back on their election. And every supervisor who wanted to give a flowery speech and promote a special event in their district. Uh, there was even one supervisor who took time out to plug for some stuffed animal sale to benefit a charity somewhere. Don't get me wrong, all of that is well and good. But if we're able to include that sort of fluff in the minutes, why can't we be bothered to make an official permanent record of substantive discussion by elected representatives on important public business? The answer is we can, of course, and we should. This is important not only for transparency today and accountability, but also for historical accuracy. I'm sure none of you want future generations to look back on your years of service here and think that all you did was give flowery speeches, pat each other on the back, and rubber stamp sweetheart deals. So please, take these April 19th board minutes, send them back to the staff to be corrected, and direct the county clerk's office in the future to prepare accurate and complete meetings of all county board meetings. Thank you very much. Thank